So I want these calls to be only 30 minutes because first of all, this is late for some people. And also I respect your guys' time. And I, I have um, the, I'm, I'm like forgetting all my words. I can like talk forever about being bodied. So I don't want that to happen. I want to be very focused on you guys and your goals. And so tonight, what I thought I would start off with, um, I guess I'll just introduce everyone because this is our first call. So almost everyone on this call is a personally sponsored coach who is striving to reach emerald ring or striving to reach diamond ring. And so going forward, I think I'm going to break the calls out um, just because you need different things, whether you're for emerald or diamond. Once you're emerald, you can join the diamond calls. Um, but I want it to be like a closer knit group. So going forward, that's what we'll be doing. But tonight, I just wanted to kind of have an overview of what it means to advance rank um, and kind of like the steps in your business that you need to take in order to accomplish that. So I just had a couple of things to cover, and then I wanted to, to, to talk to you guys about your struggles, your questions. I think some of you guys, let me see who joined. I think one of you guys joined like two days ago, and so you may have a lot of questions, so we can get to that afterwards. Um, so the first thing I just wanted to mention, especially those of you that are striving to reach Emerald, if you have yeah. not yet joined the Fit Boss Academy, that's the one that started on, I think it was the 31st, um, or the 30th of September, no, of, of August. Um, that's our 21-day new coach training. It's almost over. In that, and you found that you have kind of fallen off the wagon and you haven't been participating. I, I saw a post from a couple days ago that one of the coaches posted, and I wanted to share it. And I, sorry, I'm just going to mute you guys. Um, as I was like scrolling down to, um, to share another post with you guys, I found like three more that I wanted to share. And so I, instead of doing that, I wanted to just in, tell you guys to start participating in that group because there's such good content that is being shared. So if you're not already, make sure to check out the Fit Boss Academy. And if you are one of the people that joined like last week or something, we are going to be starting that. Um, the first Monday of every month. So October 5th is the next time that you can join so you can start fresh. Okay, so now I have three things to cover regarding advancing to Emerald or to Diamond. Um, for those of you that are newer, Karen, I saw your beer, I love it. <laughs> um, you're muted, I can't hear you. <laughs> I was trying to sneak it on the side, but Thursdays are rough days for me, so it's like, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I have a wine glass somewhere around my computer. <laughs> um, so uh, for those of you that are newer to advancing ranks, so Emerald, you just need two coaches. Emerald is the first step to kind of like declaring that you, you want to work the business, you want to be a leader, you want to have a presence in Beachbody. So Getting to Emerald says that, and it is a big step, but it's also very, very easy to hit. So we'll talk, all you need is two coaches, and that can be someone that wants to work the business or discount coaches. And then to get to Diamond, you need four, or sorry, eight coaches total, two of which are Emerald. Um, so that's a little bit more time consuming to build that, especially if you want to build a strong team. Um, but that is essentially what you need. So for those of you on the call, if I haven't told you yet exactly what you need in terms of the number of coaches to join or to um, advance rank, then let me know and I can pull that for you. So the first thing I want to talk about is your why. Um, I met with uh, Jeff Pearson today, who is the Northeast Regional Sales Lead, and I was talking to him about one of my coaches who was like on track for diamond. She was at Emerald and she was like doing amazing and everything. And then one day she said, I just don't think Beachbody's intent or I don't think their goal is in line with what I believe in. And she quit the very next day. And I was like, Oh my God, I was like so pumped for you to reach diamond. And he asked me what was her why? And I was like, 
I don't think she had one. I think that she just wanted to make money or like get in quick and make more money quicker. And so that like was that simple question was just so like, um, I don't know, it really hit home with me because with a lot of coaches, everyone needs a why. I heard once you need a why that makes you cry and you need that passion for this business and that passion to reach your goals, whether it be emerald or diamond or to make 500 a week or a thousand a week, you need to have a reason behind that. You can't just say, I want to reach diamond. You need to want to reach diamond to pay off your student loans, to pay for your child to go to a private school, to feel amazing, to lose 100 pounds. You know, you need that one thing in your life or multiple things that pushes you so that on the days where nobody's engaging with you, that everyone tells you no, you still want to keep going. So with that being said, um, I don't want you guys to share that right now. Some of you may not even know what your why is yet, but I want you guys to start thinking about that. So think about why it is you signed up to coach in the first place and why it is you want to reach Emerald or why you want to reach Diamond. And then I want you to personally message that why to me. And I'm going to write it down and document that because that's something you need to be so passionate about and reflect back on. So you guys should write it down too and like stick it on your computer or your mirror and look at that every day and remind yourself that that's why you're in this business. So that's the first one. Now, so moving on to specifically rank advance, I have two things I wanted to mention. One is get your spouses or husband or girlfriend signed up. And this is something that I was told initially when I wanted to reach Emerald and I resisted it. I was like, I don't, my boyfriend is not going to work the business. I'm not going to work the business for him. And I was just thinking, I didn't see how it added up. I didn't see how I would benefit from that. Now, almost two years down the road, I wish that I had signed him up earlier. And I'm not sure if you guys saw the, um, the movie or the, <laughs> I'm like totally jumbling all my words up. The uh, like YouTube clip that Raina posted in the Lux Republic that was all about why you should sign your spouse your spouse up. And the reason is because so some another coach said that signing your spouse up as your first coach is kind of like them being park place in Monopoly. So even if you sign up your husband or your girlfriend or boyfriend and they're not going to work the business. You don't know what you're going to be doing in one year. If in one year you decide that you want to start working his business or her business, they are going to be in such a good position when they start reaching, um, when they reach Emerald and start accumulating a team bonus every single week because they are accumulating all of the volume, which you may or may not understand right now, but they're accumulating all of the points from the coaches that you sign after that, whether it's two months down the road, six months or a year. So signing up your spouse is so important and they need to be in your weak leg. So if you don't know what that is, I'll tell you which leg is your weak leg. And that is like securing your income, your husband's income or girlfriend, boyfriend. And they are getting that prime spot, like the best spot to be is your first coach on your weak leg. And so definitely something you want to consider. So if you're striving to reach Emerald and you have not yet signed up your spouse or whoever, get them signed up. This can even be your mom or your dad or your sister or whoever. Get that person signed up because that is the first place, the first person that you'll want to place. If you are striving for diamond, so you're already Emerald and you still don't have your spouse signed up, now is the time to do it. So. I waited until, so I actually signed my boyfriend up um, three months into coaching, and then I canceled his coaching account because I didn't want to pay his $15, and then I re-signed him up last December, and I'm kicking myself because now, like, he made $70 this week without doing anything at all, and if he, if I kept him as a coach initially, that would have been a couple hundred just from his account, so... It may seem silly and you may not see the value in it right now, but trust me, if you're in this business to advance rank, which all of you are, then that needs to happen. So, and that's an easy coach for you guys. So get them signed up. 
And then the last thing. So obviously with hitting your rank, you need to be recruiting coaches. But what I wanted to focus on tonight is not necessarily the recruiting side, but hitting success club. Because everything, every success you will see in your business starts with success club. So before anyone starts thinking about the recruiting side, so recruiting more people to your business, I want you guys first to focus on hitting success club. The reason for hitting success club is because that is you helping three people with a challenge pack every single month. And that not only is helping you earn money every month, but those are people that you can later turn into coaches. So if they have an amazing experience in your challenge group, they'll likely want to coach. And if you continue to do that, help three people every month, that is residual income where if they stay on Shakeology HD, that's more income from you every single month with you doing nothing. So it helps your income and it gives you a solid potential coach base in the long run, which is like two weeks. If you reach out to them after two weeks, after a month, or after they finish their program. So, and the reason I want to talk about that is because I was looking at my downline and my downline's downline, and this month is pretty slow in terms of success club, meaning that you guys are struggling with hitting success club. And I, I know Christine's on the call. I saw you have success club five. <laughs> Congratulations, Karen, you're at four. Chelsea, are you on? Yep, you're on. She's at success club nine. So there's definitely some of you guys that are there. Um, but, and you guys can jump on and like share your tips and whatnot. But success club truly is the foundation of your business. So I, my goal for you guys is to personally hit success club and then focus on recruiting. That's not to say that you can't do both at the same time. So for me, when I get to the point in my conversations about joining a challenge group where they're like, great, sign me up. That is when I say, awesome. Before I send you the link, do you want to get signed up as a discount member at the same time? And then they say, what is a discount member? And then I explain that and that's signing them up as a discount coach. I have scripting on all of that. So if you're not doing that yet, let me know and I can send it to you. So you can do it at the same time as you are promoting your challenge groups and advertising them and reaching out to people and inviting new people. You can still do it at the same time. It's just you want to focus on getting those challengers, helping those challengers see results and feel amazing and then turning them into coaches. Um, yeah, and so the, your first two coaches usually are your husband, spouse, whoever, um, and a discount coach. Usually it's not two rock star coaches that you automatically stumble upon. It's usually a discount coach and your spouse, girlfriend, husband, boyfriend, whoever. So I'm not, not that that's how it always is, um, but that's to me the easiest way to get to Emerald. And once you're at Emerald, it's to me so much easier to start that recruiting process and start actually focusing on your ideal coach and how you can help your team grow. So that was my two cents for this week is you need a why. So all of you should be thinking about your why. Why do you need this to work? Also, sign up your spouses if you haven't already, and focus on hitting success club. And while you're doing that, focus on discount coaching. But hit success club first, and then focus on the recruiting side. So any questions on that? You get, I'll unmute everyone now. Okay, you're all unmuted. <laughs> So for those of you, does anyone have their spouse sign up already? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so Karen, actually, you may have seen the post. She, we're doing this three-day, uh, the Shakeology, Tasteology, the Shakeology sample group. And she signed up her husband, and she's bought her box of Shakeology that she's going to be selling um, as samples through him. So he's as a coach, he got the discount for on Shakeology, and she reaped the benefits and got a team bonus probably from that this week. Um, Karen, 
Karen, can you use your own credit card or do you need to use a different credit card for your just you like didn't for even your know I did it. <laughs> oh, you I, used my, did it? Yeah, I used my own credit card and I had no issues whatsoever. I just, I didn't know the right way to go about doing that. And it just kind of was like, well, I already have Shakeology. Why don't, and we're doing this tasteology. So I just thought, oh, I'll just do it through him. And I had no clue if it was going to even work, but it, it did. did. And then he got 90 PV points for it. So he was then put into the active column. So okay. that's what got me to Emerald. But I was just going to say, um, I too was very hesitant to sign him up as a coach. And it took Raina's um, video that was on, I, if it was Fit Boss or Entrepreneur Academy, I'm not sure. But if anybody hasn't watched that, it's like maybe like 10 minutes long. That was kind of the Oh, that makes so much sense. Like, he doesn't even need to know I did it, yeah. <laughs> to be honest with you. I just was like, hey, Ev, do you mind if I do this? You get to pick a cool picture as your profile picture, but that's <laughs> really all it takes. And he was like, sure. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. And you can actually have your your credit card on three accounts. So, oh, okay. Yeah, you can, you can be like your boy, your fiance, and your sister or someone else. Okay, that sounds good. Because that's like the only thing that's been kind of holding me up from doing it was just wondering if it had to be like a separate separate credit card. Because Evan's like into it now. He's like, just do it. I know you really want to. You really want to do this, so he's on board. So I'm excited, but I just didn't know about that. Good. Yeah. Get him signed up in your week leg. Do you know which leg is your week leg? You told me the other night. Okay. Right. I wrote it down. So get him in that leg. Okay. Yeah, good question. How do you figure out who should be in your weak leg and who should be in your strong leg? That's a good question. So initially, when you're building a pattern, you really want to do one and one. So put one in your weak leg, one in your strong leg. Um, the reason for that is because to hit diamond, you need four in your strong leg and four in your weak leg. So you don't want to stack one leg and have like 10 coaches and then one in the other. So until you're done, do one on one, one and one so to every other leg. Once you're diamond, it's a completely different ball game where you can start like stacking your week leg to boost your your volume or and your team bonus every week. Okay. And also another thing to keep in mind is to get two diamond, you need two emeralds, one on each side. So you have Jess. Um, yes. Brett, that's her name. Yeah. Um, and she's halfway to Emerald. And so you want the next strong coach that you have, like if someone really wants to run with the business, put them on the other leg because that will help you get to diamond. Okay. And tell her to sign up her husband if she hasn't already. That's the first person she signed up. She didn't oh, fool me. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions about that? I know that like the legs and like sign, like where to place coaches can be kind of confusing. And honestly, until you're emerald, it won't really make too much sense. But once you're emerald, um, it starts to kind of like you see where your coaches are placed, where your commission is coming from, and where the volume's coming from, and everything. Nikki, I see you on the call. You need to see oh. your husband. <laughs> we were just talking about that. <laughs> I'm working on him. I'm working on him. <laughs> all right. Any other questions about that or, or anything at all? So, like, how are your challenge groups going? Do you have a lot of people interested? Um, have you had any conversations about coaching? Anything at all you guys want to talk about? I have a question. So sure. I had Mike signed up under my other account and I canceled him the last time that I canceled my own account. How's that going to work if I sign him back up? You should be, it should be fine. Um, just make sure that you use your like beachbodycoach.com slash your username. Yeah. And then as long as he goes through there, then he'll be fine. And if for some reason he's like placed underneath the wrong coach, if he is placed under the wrong coach, it's probably going to be me because he rolled up to me when you quit the first time. And so, uh, and it, it'll be easy to switch. Okay. Yeah. 
Did you have any success with that person you're talking to tonight about coaching? Um, she's from the floor with her husband, and they both kind of are interested. So oh, nice. Yeah. Awesome. She wants to watch the videos and stuff that were on the website that, or the group you told me about. Oh, the sneak peek. Yeah. 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 That's good. So we host those sneak peeks once every month. So if you guys don't have any coaches in there or potential coaches in there yet, I actually invite the whole week. So I actually invite, I completely forgot about this group. So I only started inviting people on Sunday and it started on Monday. But all this week I've been, when I've been talking about coaching, I say, you know what? We have this group that's a five day group where we're talking about the coaching opportunity. We're on day four, but you can totally join us and watch the videos and get caught up and then we can talk about coaching. And so I have people all week long. So you guys can do that too or just prepare for our next group in October. And if anyone in here has potential coaches in there, tomorrow is the day to follow up with them. So tomorrow is the last day of the group. So you wanna send them a message and just ask them, how they like the group, what they thought of the opportunity, and if they're ready to get signed in. Does anyone have coaches in there? I have a prospective coach, but I don't know that she's actually doing anything with it. In a sneak peek? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah a lot of, I think there's like 100 people in there, and there's like not that many people that like it, but. Even, even though they're a part of it, that helps. So you can still reach out to them tomorrow and ask how they like the group. And they might say, I was so busy, I didn't watch any of it, but let me go back now and check it out, or I'll check it out this weekend. So not a total lost cause if they don't participate at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So why is everyone struggling to hit success club? Is it promoting your challenge group? Is it inviting people or having conversations? What are what struggles are you guys feeling for that? The thing that I've experienced more recently is like everyone that likes my posts, I follow up being like, oh, wow, blah, blah, blah. And then they're all like, well, I've tried 21 Day Fix. Like they've all done it or they have a coach um, that they're, that they're, using so I'm always like everyone's like tried 21 day fix and I don't know it just it just is it's just very interesting like I had that conversation I've been talking to someone for like a week and finally I brought up a challenge group and she's like oh I'm actually part of another challenge group and blah 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 I was like well that's great yeah. <laughs> that's hard. you yeah, know like I have the same thing happen. Happen. <laughs> it is hard especially so like as us coaches get like expand our market in our same hometowns that gets really hard so my tip to any of you guys who have that who you're having conversations and they already have a coach or they've already done the programs is expand your network so you just need to reach more people outside of who you know already I think that's where I get really intimidated with it yeah same into expanding your network part yeah yeah so what about it intimidates you? Well, I know that I have friend requested people that I don't even know. And then I'll send them a message like, hey, thanks for friend requesting me. Like kind of like, I mean, you said like the soul cycling or you find something in common that you have. And it's either they'll say, yeah, sure, no problem. And then the conversation stops after that or then they'll defriend me. <laughs> So I've actually, <laughs> I've had like five or six people like do friend me, which is fine. Like they don't know me. It's, I'm messaging them out of nowhere. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not offended by it, but it's just, I can't keep the conversation going. <laughs> I did have good luck um, putting a few people that I, I met from like Instagram over into my Facebook and I put them into a free group. Um, that way it kind of kept some conversation going, but I haven't been brave enough to be like, hey, join my other group yet. Yeah. I just, I guess I'm afraid of how to transition it. To be like, here's my free group, now I want you to buy something. I don't want it to come off salesy. 
Right, right. Well, what I do for that is um, like I give like a prize away for during the challenge group so I can expand my network. And um, so like my friends will like refer three people and then I'll, I'll message them like in the beginning, introducing myself, seeing if they have any questions. And then after that, I follow up at the end being like, how'd you like it? Blah, blah, blah. blah. And it didn't like, I think like, so, like maybe one or two people have like purchased something off of me after that. But I mean, it gets the conversation going and, and things like that. But I definitely always follow up because they have to like accept your friend request to be in your group or they can't. So you can message them. It's like, this is not a freebie. So that's what I do. <laughs> Yeah. I'm probably like annoying but my first time like I was like how do you how are you liking the group and like they're like oh I haven't had time to like do any of the exercises and I was just like kind of defeated about that but then I just was like okay but I feel like I kind of held them accountable because I checked up with them mm -hmm. you know? and then you know they found me again or they joined my group the next time <laughs> yeah I think it's almost easier to make that transition when you have that free group which is why when I um recruiting and expanding my network through instagram my my comment that i say is do you want to join my free group this is what it is and this is what it is. because once they're in there um i don't think it's like you already know they're into health and fitness so if it's like one of your five day groups i actually just finished a five day group and i sent out a message to every single person that i had in there and my message said something like um hey i was just wondering how you liked our group I sent that, and like, if you saw any results, I sent that, and then I said, um, depending on what their response was, awesome, I have a 21-day group starting on September 28th, where I will be getting a workout program, a meal plan, technology, and even more accountability and motivation. Would you be interested in doing it? So that's kind of direct, but with those people that join your free groups, you know that they're already into health and fitness, so you can tailor it. Like one of the people that I invited was um, like had a bad junk food habit. So I was like, you know, it's awesome. You're feeling so much better after these five days, but do you want to join a group where for 21 days we're kicking the curve and like feeling better that way? So customize it based on who you're talking to. But if they're in your group, I'd say that's like, you're free to, ask, to invite them in my opinion. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and then, so Karen, for you, like when you're inviting strangers to be friends with you, and if they don't respond, what I do, what I try to do is I track who that is. Um, <clears throat> I'll just like write it down on a sticky note or in my Excel document, and I'll just write their name down so I know to go back and to like their posts. So I'll like once a week or every other day, whatever, I'll go to their page and I'll like something of theirs or a comment on theirs, and I'll try and be active on their page. So then that way, like, maybe it'll be two weeks before I reach out to them again, but they'll know that I'm liking their stuff. And when you reach out to them again, just talk about something they posted. So, like, I noticed you just posted, like, your kids playing soccer. I used to love playing soccer. Like, how do you like being a soccer mom or whatever? Like, whatever they post about, make sure that, um, that you relate to that and post about that. And then they're going to respond because you're talking about that. And then people love talking about yourself. <laughs> yeah, I will say that expanding your network is huge, um, especially for those of you that live in towns with lots of other coaches or those of you that have friends that have coaches or their coaches and whatnot. Expanding your network through social media is very important. So no matter what way you do it, like through Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, anything like that is something that one of the vital behaviors that you should be doing every day. Something, something that just came up that was kind of odd. I had somebody um, reach out to me that is an It Works um, representative person, which I don't hardly know anything about them. Um, other than they do the weird rap thingy, not weird, but <laughs> the quick rap thing, <laughs> uh, which I don't understand how that works. Yeah, but like he was wanting to work together and like refer back and forth, and I just wasn't quite sure if that was kosher to do or not. And I just because I don't know anything about it, I didn't know what to do with them. <laughs> I mean. So It Works is a health and fitness company. 
Um, I think they have shakes maybe, but they, yeah, they have yeah. that like, wrap that you're supposed to like lose weight when you wrap it around yourself or something. But they have like shakes and like a bunch of different things. Like it's kind of like a, comp- like a competitor for us. Like there is like certain shakes for that, like that they have. And I mean, cause that, one of, that's one of, what I thought. Yeah. One of Evan's like cousins does it and she's like doing 21 day fix, <laughs> but she's like not buying <laughs> our shakes. She likes her shakes better. I was like, whatever. Um, right. But there's no fit. They don't do fitness. <laughs> they just do fitness. No, they're not. So that's a big difference. Like with a lot of the companies, like Advocare is mostly focused also on the shakes and stuff. So that's a huge difference where I can, they probably want to partner with you because you have the fitness side. But I would steer clear of that. I mean, you want to promote everything of your own, not necessarily partner with a competitor to. to that's help. kind of, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure how to handle that one. <laughs> Sometimes I get it works people that friend me um, or like, uh, or advocate or something and I'll accept their friend request, but I don't add them into any of my free groups because I'm so paranoid that they're going to go through my friends <laughs> and friend everyone, or they'll post publicly in my group, which has happened before about some yeah. stuff going on with like a rap or something. And I'm like, no. Oh my um, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be bad. <laughs> So this is another thing, not saying that I'm going to do this, but I thought it was very interesting. I went to my first bridal expo and they had an Advocare rep there. And I was just like, wow, that is so interesting. I was like, I don't know how I felt about it. I mean, you know, they had to sign off my sheet, but I was like, that's so interesting because I would never, I don't feel like Beachbody is like that, but I didn't know what you guys thought of that. I kind of like it, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Like it's definitely salesy, you know, you're promoting something when you're there. Yeah. I mean, that breaks you into a whole new market, like brides who are looking to lose weight. I think it's that be like a good avenue to go towards. I mean, I don't know. Like, this was like my first bridal show, show and I was like, I'm a beach body coach. <laughs> <laughs> I did see, um, I went to like a grand opening for a gym and they had like all these different vendors lined up everywhere. And um, they had people from like the It Wrap. It, it works people the it rap people whatever they are um they were there they had like i think they had like some off brand advocare or wanna be type group was there and you know they were giving out free samples and they were getting a lot of traction so i mean i think if you felt confident enough to just put yourself out there i think it'd probably be a good market to try and reach yeah All right. I'll, I'll just have, like, samples or like or even pamphlets, or just like a sign-up sheet so that they can join a free group of yours or something. Just getting those names, I think, would be good. Yeah. yeah. Ashley, let sure you did one like probably a year and a half ago, right? Yeah, it was a really long time ago. I did one. <laughs> um, I did it at this, just a small little thing that they're doing at the school, and it was just like this yoga class they were teaching, or it was like yoga and dance, so something we are combined. And they had like four different people set up and I was one of them. And I just had a table. I made my own Shakeology sample. So I just had like these tiny little cups of Shakeology in it. And then I had a couple of the workouts that I had is like a display. And then I put a couple of picture, like transformation pictures. And I did this email thing. So it was like a jar that I had that you would win a gift. And I made them all put their name and email on it. So then I had their emails, you know, so then later on I could email them. Mm-hmm. So it, was, them? it was good. I got, I only got one person from it. It was really small though. So I think if you do a bridal show, it would be huge. Okay. Yeah. I was, so one of my coaches who has since quit, um, like resisted social media. And so she didn't want to be like, she never friended anyone. She never like even talk to her own family about it. But so that led me to, I was trying to be creative and think of ways that she could expand her network. And I was doing research and like listening to top coaches, how they do it. And they actually said that you can go to networking events for like small businesses and basically just bring your business cards and introduce yourself and like do it face to face. So if you're, if you don't like social media, just go to these networking events, go to the bridal shows, go to all that. Everything can be done face to face. It's just, most of Beachbody does it online. Okay. I know um, a lot of coaches on these other calls that I'm on, they do like old school shake and shares. 
Like they have little events of their own and they just call it a shake and share. Really? Yeah. That's, so that's, that's something that's in our online office. Like one of the events that we can host is a shake and share. <laughs> well, the one guy, he's like, he's, I think he's 45 and he's been doing it for four years. Wow. And he's the one that I told you about that has like the crazy uh, team. He's just, yeah. a, he's a three star, but he has a huge downline. Yeah. I mean, one thing I'm going to try to start doing once I'm full time is create like a fit club event where I'm just, I don't know, like I think I'll have to rent out a space or when it's warm out, I can do it outside. But basically, um, I can start like a meetup event, I was thinking, or just tell people like I'm going to be here at this time doing Insanity Max 30 or like take my laptop to the gym and say, and like maybe put up a little sign on the door that I'm in of the room and say Insanity Max 30 and like trying to attract people that way. Um, so I've seen people of, do that. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. 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 And so that way, it's kind of like you're inviting people to come join you while you're already doing it, you know. And then I'm doing an event in Batavia on October 4th, where it's kind of going to be like that. So I'm going to have shots of E&E &E for everyone to have, and then we're going to do a workout, and then I have giveaways, and then I might have, like, Shakeology samples, too. Um, so that's, I'm just kind of trying to like bring more people together and just give them a taste of what Beachbody is without being like, buy a challenge pack. <laughs> more like, <laughs> this is what we have to offer. So yeah, lots of different ways. But yeah, expanding your network is definitely, if you're not doing it already, that is one thing you can start doing tonight and you'll see an improvement in your business because more people will be seeing your posts, more people will reach out to you. You have more people to then Bite the bullet, close your eyes, and reach out to them. So. Well, thank you, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I just noticed we have less than a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Any last minute questions, or are you guys good? Did you guys feel inspired? Think about your why. Mm hmm Okay. Awesome. So before we get cut off, thank you guys for joining. I will be reaching out to you guys in the smaller groups um, just to let you know what some next steps are. But thank you so much, and... Let's advance rank to Emeralds and Diamond. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Bye.